Hi there, welcome to lesson 4. I'm your lecturer Elaine from CV Lounge. Today we are going to look at airbrushing. You can download the same photo that we will be using in this lesson and see your textbooks for instruction. Remember to duplicate the original layer by pressing Ctrl J on your keyboard. First, we will start by removing the person from the background and placing it on its own layer. For this example, I will use the pen tool to outline. After connecting the dots, go to the Paths tab above your layers. And while pressing Ctrl on your keyboard, click on the Path layer. You will now have selected your path. Let's go to the Layers tab. Duplicate your layer by pressing Ctrl J. And it will immediately place only the selected onto a new layer. Let's hide the two layers at the bottom. Now we want to play around with the skin of the person. Remove dots, bring in the tan, make thinner and add a bit of grain to it. First, take your eraser tool. Set the brush to soft edges. Like that and erase everything that is not skin, hair, clothes, eyes, and so on. Remember to duplicate your layer. So we are erasing everything that is not the skin. The closer you erase to the skin, bring down the opacity of the eraser tool. Like that. Let's just zoom in. Make it a bit bigger. And like that. Let's make it more lighter. Okay. To erase the dark shadows of the skin, such as nose holes and eyebrows, set your eraser opacity to 20%. Let's make it And just once go over it like that. Like that. And this. And also the eyes. They are not skin, so we remove them. Now 
Now that you only have your skin on a layer, we can first duplicate Control J and work from here. You can always hide or unhide the layers to view the progress. Use the Healing Brush tool to remove any dots or blemishes. Do that by pressing and holding Alt on your keyboard and clicking on the person's skin. Look for a nice area of skin to copy from. So let's choose, this looks nice, hold Alt in and click. Now click on your spots to remove them, like that. If you want to copy another skin area, that's nice. Repeat the step by holding in Alt and clicking on the nice spot. So now we can remove all the blemishes. Be careful not to overdo this because you might see all the little dots that we have added here. Okay. So the sample we've chosen is also a color that's near the places that we want to um, fix. So if we go darker, we want to choose a darker sample. All right. Okay. So you don't want to lose the whole skin. All right. Okay, so like this. After all the blemishes are removed, we are going to bring in a tan. First, duplicate your blemish-free layer and work from there. Control J. And hide the one underneath it. Now press and hold Control on your keyboard and click on your layer to select the skin. Like that. Once selected, go to your adjustments there and choose color balance. Play around with the settings to get the color you want for a nice tan. So let's see. Not as much. You can hide to see how it previously looked like and now with the tan. Okay. You can merge the color balance layer with the skin layer by holding Ctrl and pressing E on your keyboard, like that. Now make a duplicate again, Ctrl J. Hide the one underneath and select the layer by holding Ctrl and clicking on the layer. We are going to add noise to it. This will add that high definition look to your photo. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Okay. You can play around with the intensity, but we are aiming just to have a slight hint of noise, just so that the photo is not entirely smooth. So this takes away the smoothness of the healing brush tool. All right. If you click on this preview, you will see how it was before. If you click and hold, you will see how it looks like before. Like if you do that and you click, you will see the difference. Okay. Let's make it six, five, I think four is a good one. Okay, let's say okay, and there you go. Please select 
I'm clicking somewhere. You can now duplicate Control J and merge Control E, your skin layer with your portrait layer. Okay, so we want the top skin layer, let's hide this one, merged with our portrait, this one. Okay, so duplicate the portrait, move it to the skin layer that you duplicated, and select both of them and press Control E to merge. Okay, so just to see a before and after, if you unhide this, before and after. Okay. Next, we visit the eyes to make it stand out. All right. Zoom in. Play around with the dodge tool to highlight some of the areas, like this. You can see it highlights it here as well. Maybe the dot there. Let's edit some other areas with a dodge tool. You can always change the exposure. It's how much lightness you want. That. Also on the lips, like that. And you can also play with the burn tool to make these stand more out, like that. Now you can bring in another background. So let's add a new layer here. Let's say File, Open, choose a background like this, and we move it into that layer like that. And there's your other background. It is good to have your finished person on one layer. So let us duplicate all of those layers and combine them into one. But we already did that in the previous ones. All right, so we have our finished layer and our background layer. Remember that the person photo still looks like it has been cut out. To make the person photo and the background image to blend in, we are going to select the person layer and add a blur effect only on the edges. Do this by holding control on your keyboard and clicking on the person layer, you will see the outline of the person is selected. Now go to select, modify, border. Now you set a border around your selection because we only want to blur the edges. I think four pixels should do the trick. Let's see, it's a bit small. So let's change it. Control Z to undo, select, modify border. Let's make it eight. Okay, so that looks good. Now go to filter, blur, and gush run blur. And go to the edges here. Set your blur intensity. So that's too much just want a little bit like that and press OK and deselect. Your person layer will now be nicely blended into your background image. One last thing, we want to add a drop shadow to the person and give it more depth. This is optional depending on the background you are using. 
Go to the bottom right of Photoshop and click on the FX icon to select Drop Shadow. Make sure you are on the layer that you wish to add the drop shadow. On the pop-up window, you can set the angle of the drop shadow, its opacity and the size. So let's make it this way. You can see where the drop shadow is if you make the distance more. All right, there's a drop shadow coming out there. And there it is. So let's make the distance less. The size bigger, like that, and you can change the opacity as well. All right. Make sure the blend mode is set to normal if you wish to change the color here. If you leave the blend mode to multiply, the effect of another color won't show. Press OK once you are satisfied. Okay, and there you go. Before and after. I think the tan just came out a bit more intense. All right. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Visit the lounge area for discussions and see you on the next lesson.